Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us is Holly. Hey, guys. And this is Battleborn, yeah. which you've been playing. Uh, this is the story mode. Yes. Yeah, is so that correct? So I played a little bit of this before E3 last year. Yeah, you interviewed yourself. I literally did. Literally yourself. My American doppelganger. Yeah. Um, and it's come on a bit since then. So uh, tell me what you're doing. This is a, a boss we're about to fight now. Yeah, we are about to fight Jeff. I'm playing as Whiskey Jeff. Foxtrot. <laughs> um, so we're halfway through one of the story missions. Uh, the story mission we're playing now, the first part has been seen before. Is this Jeff? This is Jeff. This bit has not been seen before, I believe. This massive kind spider. of spidery robot thing. It's a spider. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am playing four-man uh, story mode at the moment. I'm playing as Whiskey Foxtrot, which is one of the characters that's just been revealed. Uh, he's kind of like ranged DPS, um, which means he basically shoots from afar, which is totally opposite to my playstyle. <laughs> you like to get in there with an axe, don't you, Holly? That's that's you in oh. Final Fantasy fourteen, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So wait Big until you sword. see. In the face of the bang, 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 and then it dies. Uh, wait until you see the uh, multiplayer, and then you'll understand. Um, so what we're doing here is uh, I'm currently purchasing like a little bot. He's like a health bot that will be flying around the field to help us. Okay. And I've done that with shards I've collected up until this point. So Jeff, as a boss, um, will stop every sort of maybe one fifth of his health to firmware upgrade, which is what he's doing now. Um, so what we're trying to stop him from doing is completing his firmware upgrade. And by doing that, we're unlocking this kind of poisonous gas that apparently spiders don't like. <laughs> uh, and that's why we're now all running out because our, our shields are taking a beating and it's back outside to fight Jeff. So like, there's a weird leveling system in Battleborn, isn't there? Yeah. Um, it's not like you don't you don't go through the levels like you would in a, in a traditional or well, anything really. Like there's a weird kind of helix choice system. Yeah. And within each mission, you kind of start from the beginning the beginning again, and then un you can choose which abilities to unlock as you, as you go forward. Okay, so that's the same as sort of Paragon as well. Sorry to make a really obvious kind of comparison, but yeah, you always start at level zero yeah. and you level up throughout the mission. I'm actually level six right now at this point, which means I've unlocked my special power, which is my overdrive. Um, so at the moment, I've gone really towards kind of attack. I'm not ma much of a massive buff person. So I'm basically just getting as violent as possible with my overdrive. But yeah, the Helix system allows you to change how you want to play on the sort of on the fly. So if you're playing a battle and finding that actually you're needing to buff people or your enemies or debuff your enemies more, then you can just pick which one you want to be at. It seems to be working because Jeff is down to about half his health already. Yeah, we're pretty much destroying Jeff. Uh, luckily... Level um, seven. So here we go. What are you going to choose? I didn't get to see that. <laughs> it was uh, too quick. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, I was making really snapshot decisions on basically what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, there I am in overdrive at the moment. So these shot cannons have come out and they absolutely keep ruining us. Um, so the shot cannons destroy your health. Oh, uh, man. So that's my secondary. It allows me to shoot grenades. So blowing a few of them. And there are a load of characters in this as well. For, for someone who doesn't, who hasn't seen much of Battleborn, how many? I can't remember the twenty-five. Exact, twenty-five, yeah, twenty-five Battleborn to choose from. They're not all just gunners. Oh, Holly. Sorry. Um, yeah. So while I'm down now, there is a twenty-second window for someone to revive me. If I simply respawn, we actually lose one of the group, the team lives. Yeah. So at the very top there, you'll see a little number, and you've only got that many respawns. So you've got to stick together, keep reviving your teammates if they go down. Yeah, basically, you can uh, unlock more lives or find them, uh, which people have done now and again. But yeah, you try not to go down too much. Yep. I almost go down again. Uh, luckily, the uh, the healer of the group does turn up and buff me again in a minute. <laughs> so to clarify, when we say this is story mode, this is still a competitive multiplayer. No, no, not this... sorry, a co -op, cooperative multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to play single player, you can. The entire story mode will scale depending on how many people are playing, so mm -hmm. it won't add in bots. So if you want to just play one player, just like, I suppose, all co-op, like Borderlands, yep. then it'll scale the difficulty of the game to suit you. Jeff's about to bite it. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff's not at a wicked time, in all fairness to us. There Flag I am getting my... Flushed right down the plug hole. There I am being healed. Yay. Um, yeah, we did good. So you can see all the loot we've dropped. Um, 
there's some health, there's also some gear that can be found and credits. So what will happen here is these will help you buy loot packs at the end, or you can even find loot pack drops. So if one person get one, the whole team gets one. Yeah. And all of you have got random gear in them. And then you can then equip those to your characters. And unlike your level, they don't reset each time. So you get to keep that stuff. You get to keep that that's stuff. That's cool. Uh, and that's kind of how, I guess, you build up your real individual character. That was just a checkpoint there. There's more bosses. There's another boss. Um, another boss? Yeah, there's another boss. Jeff was like a middle boss. Um, yeah, and a, a challenge has just appeared on the left-hand side. So during the story mode, there are challenges you can complete. If you do them, you get extra rewards as well. Uh, I think I'm pretty bad, and I think I just sort of ignored it to shoot stuff. It, I'm not very mature when I play these games. I like to run around and hit things. Well, to be fair, it's not a very mature game, is it, Holly? No. <laughs> it's got a spider called Come Jeff in it. Come into my power line, <laughs> said Jeff the spider. Um, Jeff was amazing. Uh, some of the stuff Jeff says uh, is, is pretty special. It's very, very Gearbox. So if you're a Borderlands yes, fan, yeah. you're pretty much set. Like, you're really you've set, got that actually. cool art style. It's a bit different art style-wise to Borderlands. Uh, it's more kind of... The, the explosions are really cartoony. Yeah. There's a real kind of a like a Saturday morning action hero cartoon vibe to the look of it, I think. Yeah, and they have said that it's taken a completely different art style, but it's just it just still looks like the kind of thing Gearbox make. And it actually has a lot more colour and whimsy to it. So if you are like me and you are completely new to MOBAs, because, you know, the online portion of this is, at the end of the day, a MOBA, um, it does feel a little bit less scary, I think, just because it's got the humour and the colour and the, the cartoon vibe to it. Easing you in. Yeah, it's still quite tough, uh, as you'll see in some of my online gameplay. I did find it incredibly tough when I played it. But this has been, like, I quite like co-op stuff. So, like, I was quite lucky I was in the room with everybody who we were playing with. So, like, there's loads of banter and everyone's sort of screaming. I just got stunned. That was some brutal. The, some of the worst AoE dodging I've ever seen. I was like a dragoon. <laughs> That's how bad my AoE dodging was. Um, I think I'd do it again. <laughs> I think i just stand in it again for fun later on. Um, just to see what happens. That little, there we go. Yeah, that little mushroom there was the fungus among us. The fungus among, among us. us. Uh, it's dropped by Miko or Miko, depending on how you want to pronounce Miko it. Miko is the, is the mushroom battleborn, isn't he, she? It. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think it's got a gender. Um, so yeah, it drops the mushroom and it'll actually heal people around it and it's called the fungus among us. So I think a bit later on, what he does is he runs straight in, drops fungus among us on the final boss, the DPS take up point and then uh, the range DPS and then the sort of the tank classes and the up close DPS get in and they're all like completely buffed and it's really clever and really smart. So I take it you're going to be playing as tank when this when this eventually <laughs> comes out. None of this ranged DPS nonsense. Well yeah, I got to 2k and they were like, okay, you're going to be showing off Whiskey Fox Trot. It's one of the new ones. I was like, well, first of all, that doesn't sound very cute. So I'm clearly not playing as a red-headed female as per normal. Fine. And then I saw the weapons, I was like, God damn it, I am ranged, ranged DPS. Fighter. Um, it's like hanging back and chucking fireballs in like a wimp. Yeah, a little bit. It's not for me. I want to get up close and personal. So Whiskey Foxtrot is described as a versatile assassin and is technically one of the easy characters, okay. which means he's a starter character, which means I, for really when I play one of the advanced characters later on as well, it just means they're much easier to understand and like to get to grips with. Yeah. Um, so you'll notice now on this boss, as soon as it starts, I run and take point. Like, I get completely off the, the, the floor of the arena and I go and take point. I think on the left, and then I'm like, this is rubbish. And then I run to the right. Um, yeah, I can't get very clear hit. No good. No good. So I run to the right. Range DPS from another place. Yeah. So this is my, like, second ability, which is my grenades. So I can throw them. They're sticky as well. I love a sticky grenade if Destiny taught me anything. Off to a better position then. <laughs> Love it. This is yeah. This is much better deep range DPSing. It's kind of like a a no responsibility kind of position at a range DPS, isn't it? You're not in charge of drawing the aggro. You're not in charge of healing. You just have to stand there and not hit the hit. boss from far away and not get hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't want. I want to say bad things about the DPS because I'm a tank. And normally people say really Any bad DPS things Any DPS players me. who are watching this, sorry. Really but sorry, we really need you. Awful, you're awful. 
to healers or tanks for the win. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. Always play tank. So yeah, this was really weird for me, like not running in. But I, you understood, especially in the multiplayer, really quickly just how not helpful you were being <laughs> if you started playing uh, up close. So it's nice. Spawned like a whole bunch of minions uh, that I have to sort of kill. I don't do very well at this. <laughs> well, they seem to have a lot of health for just grunts that the boss has chucked out. Um, I think I discovered a bit later on that they were immune to anywhere but the middle of their chest, okay. which meant I had to be alarmingly accurate. Now there's AoEs popping, so that's hence why I'm on the run. And there he is. Again, three sticky grenades. Nice. Into overdrive, which is my super, and then just do what I can. He's taking some punishment, isn't he? He's doing all right. The team are really, really, really good. Uh, I think they've probably practiced a bit more than I have. Uh, this is like, this is my first run through. So it's not particularly special. That's not some, that's not ranged, Holly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you see the multiplayer. I've literally, I'm, any proper mobile player will be really disappointed in my behavior. Uh, but it's too tempting not to. I can see you want to grab a, just a big axe or a shotgun and run in there. Uh, I really, really do. Because I think it's do better. So yeah, nice thing is as well, if you are on cooldown for any of your abilities, it will come up and tell you and it's in the bottom right hand corner, which anyone who plays these kind of games, so useful when you can see what your cooldowns actually are, rather than just like non-numerical timers. Mm. Oh, come on. Come on, Galactic Emperor. You're doing way better than I did uh, last year when I played it. Like it was myself, uh, Jackson was playing. Oh, well, there you and go. It, That's your reason. You didn't team, have a very good team to start with. A team of with. other people who, who'd never played it before, who didn't really know what they were doing, who were treating it like uh, just a, a regular shmup, shoot em up, first-person shooter. I literally, and you didn't see it because we started about halfway through this level, but I spent the first probably four or five minutes wondering why I couldn't melee things because I was pressing square which is the destiny melee, and it's not. Holly. And, it, and I'm in the room going like, uh, I normally melee with square, and the person's like, God damn it, Titan, and then just yelled at me that I was pressing the wrong button. I was like, oh, sorry. But there we go. Boss defeated. Boss defeated. I'm not allowed to show you past that. That's my taunt. Isn't that cool? It feels like Borderlands. Yeah. It plays with friends. That's the most important thing. And if you don't have a whole bunch of people to play with, it scales, which I also thought was really fun. But it's just nice to have something where you can get loot, to get packs, to get your gear, but you don't necessarily have to be playing an online co-op scenario, which I like. Yeah. Anyway, that is Battleborn. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments. And we're going to have some more Battleborn stuff on the channel soon, if it's not on there already. Um, so do check that out and please subscribe.